Hello and welcome pro ITNs. I hope you guys are enjoying these sessions and learning in a, in a good pace. Yeah. So today uh, we are going to look on the last session of installing Ubuntu on VirtualBox and post that we are going to look on uh, utilizing Docker, installing Docker and utilizing the images and configuring the containers on Docker. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to ITNs. So now let's look at how we install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. For that, let's open up our favorite browser and search for Ubuntu. So Ubuntu download. Now there are two versions of Ubuntu. One is only for a server that is uh, only with a CLI that is command line interface and the another version is GUI that is graphical user interface so for the simplicity sake let's use Ubuntu desktop so that is with the GUI so I click on Ubuntu download desktop and then I click on download so in, in few seconds it will prompt me to download to a location so I have selected my location and I can click on save so we can go ahead and start configuring it on VirtualBox so for that I need to click on new and then I need to give the name as you can choose any name whatever you want right and you can leave that as default and then click on next I'll select the RAM as 2 GB okay. and in, at this option I will select uh, if I need uh, this is for the hard disk actually so we have three options do not add create a virtual hard disk or use an existing hard disk so for this option I would say I would need to, uh, to create a new hard disk because I don't have any existing hard disk yeah so I click on next and in this option we have a option for VDI VHD or VMDK type of uh, hard disk so these are the options uh, for now I'm going to select a virtual box disk image that is VDI and click on next I'll select the option as dynamically allocated because that helps in utilizing the hard disk space as and when required yeah instead of the fixed one fixed one will allocate the entire disk space so for now we'll use is use as dynamically allocated and I click on next yeah I give the space of the hard disk as 30 GB click on create create right now for the fine tunings i'll actually go with these settings okay and i can select the options like uh, if you if i want to change a ram uh, on that so i can actually increase out here uh, i want to uncheck floppy because i don't have a floppy uh, and i will not be using floppy for booting my virtual machine so i have unchecked it and processor I can actually increase the processor uh, to whatever speed I want to right and display so display is these uh, I mean how much RAM it is going to utilize for display I'll leave it as default storage storage is the main point so out here we are going to define the VDI image this is the VDI image which is already defined we also need to define the ISO image here so I select the ISO file that is already downloaded and then click on OK. 
Now I'm ready to click on start and start my virtual machine. So now you can see my virtual machine is uh, starting up for Ubuntu. In few seconds it will initiate the uh, booting. So it's now installing the pre-loader files that is required to boot the operating system. So as you can see it has found no errors and it is ready to go to the next level. So very soon we will get a GUI interface wherein we will get an option to select the language. So GUI is loading up now. Alright, so we now are getting the option to select uh, the language and we have the option to try and install so try is uh, we the operating system will not be installed we can still use it uh, using the iso file and the the second option is to install so i'll go ahead and click on install i'll i'll select india yeah so i'll keep it as default and i click on continue I'll select as default and then I click on continue again okay so now we are getting the option for the hard disk uh, I mean is it fine if we are we can erase uh, the uh, data which is there on the disk so we'll select that option and click on install because we know that there is no data in this hard disk and on this one we can see that the location time location is already selected as Kolkata so that is good and I click on continue again okay now here I'll give the username 369 pro it and I leave it as default and I give the password and I click on continue okay as you can see uh, while we were doing the configuration the installation was going on in the in the packet yeah. so if we don't have anything to do now we can just wait and watch for the installation to happen in the background so till until the next point uh, I'll pause the video so we are almost completing the installation so installation is now complete and we have been prompted to reboot our system so we will click on restart now system is getting rebooted I click on enter again now within few seconds our Ubuntu will be up and running So you can see how much time it actually takes for installing an operating system, right? This is just the process of installing the operating system. But you also need to consider the time which is required to get the approval for the hardware, get what applications are required, softwares that you are going to be using. So all those prerequisites takes time. So I had purposely done this video to provide you the insight of how much time it takes for uh, configuring the operating system yeah? we'll come back on this topic once we uh, touch base on docker so as you can see our ubuntu is up and running you can just log in and we are ready that's all for now guys thank you until we meet next time keep watching keep learning thank you